well, uh, students, uh, we have seen um, how what is the phenomenon of a corona and when it appears around the conductor. The corona effect takes place when applied voltage exceeds a particular value of the voltage, which is called as a critical disruptive voltage. As this voltage increases, the glow and the hissing noise also increases. If the voltage increases up to a breakdown value of the air, then the flash over takes place. Now, if the ratio of spacing between the conductors to the radius of the conductors is less than 15, then the flash over takes place before corona occurs. But in practice, this ratio is very, very high and there is no possibility of flash over. Now, let us see some of the parameters that are related to the corona. One is critical disruptive voltage, another one is a visual critical disruptive voltage, another one is a corona loss. What is this uh, you know, critical disruptive voltage? This is uh, the critical disruptive voltage is defined as the minimum phase two neutral voltage at which corona occurs and it is generally denoted by V or V suffix D. It is also defined as the critical disruptive voltage uh, as the voltage at which complete disruption of dielectric strength of the air occurs. If the voltage increases above the critical disruptive voltage, then the corona occurs. And this critical disruptive voltage is given by V is equal to R G naught delta natural log of D by R kilovolts, where R is the radius of the conductor, G naught is a potential gradient. What we say is uh, for for example, uh, no, this is a potential gradient developed which is equal to the breakdown strength of the air at a normal temperature of 25 degrees centigrade and a pressure of 76 centimeter of mercury. And uh, at this value, the G naught, that is the potential gradient is 30 kilovolts per centimeter. And the D is the distance between the conductors. Okay. Delta, you see here, delta is what? It is the air density correction factor. R is the radius of the conductor. D is the distance between the two conductors. And G naught is the dielectric strength, uh, which is equal to 30 kilohertz per centimeter when the temperature is at 25 degrees centigrade and the pressure is, which pressure? Air pressure is at 70. 6 centimeter of mercury. Okay. Now, what is this delta air density correction factor? Why we need to take into account? See, when the room temperature, uh, when the temperature, atmospheric temperature is at 25 degrees centigrade and 76 degree, uh, 76 uh, pressure, air pressure is 76 centimeter of mercury then the dielectric strength is 30 kilo per centimeter okay but the atmospheric conditions changes the temperature may vary the pressure may vary so you need to take this correction into account that will take care uh, will be taken care by delta so delta can be taken care delta will be at any uh, when the air density correction factor uh, depends on the uh, pressure and temperature, okay. And uh, delta is uh, uh, given by 3.92 B divided by 273 plus T, okay. So, delta is given by 3.92 B whole divided by 273 plus T, where B is a barometric pressure in centimeter of mercury and T is a temperature in 
degree centigrade. Okay. Now, uh, this equation that is V uh, or VD, whatever you have written, is equal to uh, you know, delta R G naught natural log of D by R. This is valid only if the conductor surface is smooth. If the sur surface condition or the surface uh, uh, of the conductor is different for large cables and uh, stranded conductors, then we have to, uh, you know, take another correction factor, which is nothing but, you know, surface correction factor. Such a factor is also called as the irregularity factor, which is denoted by M0. And this factor is the average value of the ratio of breakdown voltage for irregular conductor to the smooth conductor. So, for example, uh, for a polished smooth surface condition of a conductor, M0 is 1. For roughened and dirty conductors, M0 is, that is, surface irregularity factor, M0 is 0 0.98 to 0.93. For a standard cables, M0 is 0 0.87 to 0 0.83. For large cable with strands more than uh, 7, then it will be M0 is 0.9. Therefore, finally, you can write, so finally, what we can write is V, that is critical disruptive voltage, V is equal to R, G0. Actually, I have not got the symbol of delta. Therefore, I have written a symbol of dollar. I am not natural log of d by r. So, g naught is uh, your 30 kilovolts per centimeter and uh, delta is 3.92 uh, b divided by 273 plus t. M naught is a, uh, what we say is an irregularity factor and natural log of d by r. This is the final equation for critical disruptive voltage.